Welcome, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College's Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is EET 121 Digital One. Today we're going to discuss the NAND gate, which you guys are intimately familiar with because we keep on using them. Uh, there's a reason why we keep on using them. It's a very universal gate and it in combination with a NOT gate or an inverter can, as we'll see in chapter four and in your labs, can be used to be create pretty much anything. Okay. So what is a NAND gate? This is the way to think of it. It is a not AND. So NAND, there's AND, N, not AND. So let's just draw this here, A, B, X. So for an AND gate, when this is an AND, 0, 1, oops, sorry, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. For an AND gate, we would have this truth table, whereby the output x is equal to high only when both inputs are high. So a NOT AND, i.e. a NAND, is the opposite of the output of an AND. So the opposite of an output of an AND is a 1, 1, 1, 0. So a NAND is anytime both inputs are high, the output is low. All other occurrences would give you an output of high. Okay? So let's draw what a NAND gate looks like. A NAND gate looks like a regular AND gate and it has a negation bubble on it. That is very important. You need the negation bubble on it. And it has signals coming in A and B. All right. Pulsed operation, which we've seen before in our ands and ors and nots, is going to look like this. We've got A and B that look like this. And we've got an output X here. So, Starting at the very occurrence, both are low. According to our truth table, our output would be high. The next occurrence, A is high, B is low. So you're also going to get a high. Okay, now we're just going to kind of go on and find where occurrences are when they're both high. When they're both high is right here. So that would give us a low. Okay, when are they also both high? right here, this window of time. That's the only time they're low is when both are high, a not and. Anytime both inputs are high, the output is low. Okay, let's make this super mega confusing. The not and is also known as a negative or. It is not known as a nor. We'll go into the nor later, but it's a negative or. So let's write that out. A NAND is also known as a negative OR. So the description for a NAND is anytime, here I'm just going to write it out, anytime both inputs are high, the output is low, which is right here. Anytime both inputs are high, A and B are high, our NAND is low. Okay. A negative OR is the exact same thing as a NAND, but its description goes like this. Anytime inputs, any inputs are low, the output is high. Okay, I'm going to write that down. And it looks like this. Anytime any input is low, the output is high. What does that mean? Okay, anytime any input is low, well, that's low, that's low, the output is high. Oh my gosh, right there. And now look at this. A is low, B is high, but again, anytime any input is low, the output is high. There you go. Same thing here, high. So this right here is a description of a negative OR. So what does this mean? It means just you're looking at it from two different angles. A NAND, you're looking from basically the inputs are giving you highs, and a negative OR is anytime you're looking for the inputs is low. It's the same thing. The reason why there is um, two different descriptions of it is 
you know, sometimes your your expressions that you use for uh, for determining a system there. Um, basically, anytime uh, an input is low, I want this output to be high. Well, that's you would use a negative or, which is a NAND. I know it's a NAND. It's two different things. All right, excuse me, two the same thing, but coming at it from two different angles. To further complicate matters, they have a symbol for the negative or. The symbol for the negative or. Looks like a regular OR, but it's got two negation bubbles on its inputs, A and B, X. I'm going to draw the NAND, A and B, and its output is X. How do the truth tables differ? They don't differ at all. They're the same thing. A, B, X. Okay, look at it from both perspectives here. Anytime both inputs are high, the output is low. Okay, so looking at it from a NAND perspective, anytime both inputs are high, the output is low. So this, these aren't high, so you would expect it to be high. Now let's look at it from the perspective of the negative OR. Anytime any input is low, the output is high. Well, there we go. So it satisfies that condition, both conditions. Okay, um, second one is when there's a 0 and a 1. Okay. Look at it from the NAND perspective. Anytime both inputs are high, the output is low, so we'd expect it to be high. Look at it from the negative OR perspective. Anytime any input is low, the output is high. So this is low, so you would expect it to be high. There we go. It satisfies both of them. 1 and 0, same thing. Both inputs are high, the output is low. They're not both high, so you would expect it to be high. So now look at it from the negative OR perspective. Anytime any input is low, the output is high. So we got a low there, it would be high. Okay, now we get to the final one, 1 and 1. Look at it from the NAND perspective. Anytime both inputs are high, the output is low. So you'd expect a low here. Now, anytime, look at it from the negative OR perspective. Anytime any input is low, the output is high. So neither input is low, so the output must be low. So this is the way to think of it. They're the same thing, but from the NAND perspective, you're describing this. From the negative OR perspective, you're, you're describing that. Okay, so let us talk about, actually, let's just go into the next, uh, actually, no, we need to talk about the Boolean expression of this. Sorry, guys. Okay, Boolean expression of this guy right here. Is this A and B negated is equal to X. These are the same things. Okay, so according to A and B, Remember A and B, just doing our regular and. 0, 1, let's see, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. A and B we would expect to be 0, 0, 0, 1. But now it's negated, not A and B. So we negate this thing. Negation of a 0 is 1, 1, 1. Negation of a 1 is a 0. So this is the NAND or the negative. Okay, we are going to move on to the NOR, which is different from the negative OR.